We begin with a Fox 5 exclusive one on one post game interview with tight end Darren Waller, who had six receptions and 45 yards. He joined us from Charlotte after the game. Take us inside the locker room after the game. What was the vibe like? Um, a lot of excitement. Um, it's an honor to be the first team to step on the field for the Las Vegas Raiders and to get a win our first time out. So it's a lot of energy. Uh, you know, winning is hard in this league, and however you can get it done, you know, it's worth celebrating. This offense only scored up to 31 points last season. You guys put 34 up in this first week of the 2020 season. What's different about this offense that makes you think you guys can go out there and score on every drive? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of balance. There's a lot of personnel groups you can roll out there and do a lot of good different things. Um, you don't have to rely on one person or another. You can spread it out. And uh, that may mean – Less touches for guys like me, but if that means a more balanced offense, then I'm all for that. Whatever winning looks like, I'm all for it, and our offense has a formula. When you guys fell behind there in the fourth quarter and had to get that long drive, what's the mindset in the huddle as you guys get ready to start on the drive towards the end zone? Uh, it's led by Derek Carr. Uh, it's led by him uh, instilling confidence in us and telling us, you know, these are the types of things we have to do if we want to submit ourselves as a, as a winner, as a playoff team, as a division winner. We have to take advantage of these opportunities and close teams out. And uh, I feel like everyone really rallied around that and took that mindset into each individual and it paid off for us. You had some injuries on the offensive line. You lost two tackles there. For the tight end group, how does that change your guys' mindset and stuff that you have to do knowing that you have somebody who doesn't normally play tackle playing tackle? Right. Uh, first off, shout out to Denzel Good for stepping in there and doing his thing in there. Um, but it's a lot more communication. Um, Usually there are things that tackles will tell us, but for him, it'd be it's on us more to communicate to him with things in pass protection, run game, things like of that nature. So it's a lot more communication on our part that we have to initiate. But um, I think Denzel did a great job, and uh, you know it just involves us on more chips and things like that. But I feel like we did a good job of uh, adapting to it. There were no fans in the stands. From a player standpoint, how was the atmosphere different out there today compared to a normal Sunday? It was it was really different. It was re it was a lot more weird than I thought it would be. Honestly, there was a lot of awkward silence as far as like no music playing in the warm ups. It's just, it's just silence out there, and you know we run out to the game and just out there is like it's a whole it's a weird feel. But um, I feel like guys kind of block that out, and you got guys running trying to knock your face off. You're not really too worried about it. Without a lot of live snaps in training camp and no preseason games. Was there a little bit of an unknown coming into this game for you guys and this offense? Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, we really had to push through as far as like cardio, as far as uh, stamina, uh, especially being in the South, being where it's super humid, uh, climate that we haven't necessarily been used to during training camp. Um, and to keep uh, running the no huddle offense and keeping the tempo up, uh, it challenged a lot of guys today, but it was something that we needed to uh, continue to build our offense going forward in the season. How much is the team looking forward to getting a game next Monday night inside Allegiant Stadium, even though there won't be fans? What is the mindset going to be with that game? I mean, those are, those are the games that you want to play in. Um, every game is big, but when you get a team like that where you know they're uh, a team that's in the hunt every year to, to get a ring and you got them coming in, um, can't ask for anything better than that. You want, to uh, you want to have those big game environments, and we're looking forward to it. Darren, thanks for joining us on Raiders Post Game Live. We appreciate the time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.